for joining us here today. I know you all have taken time out from your schedule. <laughs> I don't I'd also like to welcome Mr. Abdullah Ali Bhattu and ladies and gentlemen from the president. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, before I, uh, but I'm not going to make this very long. I'd like to quickly talk about foreign the Indian market. Uh, Ministry of Tourism or Foman set options in India about three years back with the intention of positioning Oman as a leisure destination in the Indian market to get more to Oman on a holiday. And um, since then, tourist arrivals from India into Oman have, uh, have grown many fold and we are very proud of it. 2000 that with some behind the scenes shot of the movie so it's going to be worth a watch <laughs> with Oman Air, the national carrier of Oman. Um, they connected us with, with the Shangri-La Baraljisa Resorts, uh, which is where our talent was, uh, was resident and where we shot. Uh, also connected us with, uh, you know, with, with various local line producers. With Ofting in a country like Oman. Well, yes, sir, the country is uh, just about a little over two hours away from Mumbai, actually. If you're flying from anywhere in India, it would be a little two and a half hours, maybe just about a three-hour flight. So it's a short-haul destination. It just makes perfect and makes it so much hassle-free for the production house to probably go up even if they have to uh, into the country. Um, visas have simplified, uh, and as far as this particular shoot was concerned, we also facilitated entry visas, which uh, at this point of time was a one-off case uh, for, for this particular shoot. Also, the connectivity from India, brilliant. Um, there's Oman, which is a national carrier of the country that connects India with Oman from many different cities in India. Plus, there's so many airlines. There's Jet Airways, and there's uh, Air India, and there's Indigo, and there are so many other cities that are connected. So in terms of connectivity, um, distance, it's club, proximity. Also, there's a lot of cultural affinity with India because uh, there are a whole lot of Indians and expat population, close to about 60% of the entire population uh, that's living uh, in Oman uh, for over a couple of decades now Indian food is very easily available in terms of your film how is your overall experience well uh, the first thought that comes to mind is that uh, everybody involved was extremely willing to help it was a learning curve because uh, you know uh, for us as for them but uh, every time we encountered a coin or a hiccup or a change uh, there was a lot of desire to sort it out uh, I, I found the country very very uh, accessible. Uh, I've I mean in the video about uh, the landscape and the water and the locations. Uh, I couldn't tap all of it. Uh, th there's a lot more that was to me, but because of uh, uh, the fact that not a very, very large part of the film is shot there, uh, we couldn't really uh, beyond a certain uh, amount of uh, footage, but it's it added a lot to the look of the film and uh, I, I, I've, I also found that the country is uh, is changing very fast we saw new airports coming up we saw a lot a lot of new malls lots of construction lots of Indians there which which makes it comfortable you know when because the language is not so much of a problem but 
uh, in a nutshell, extremely warm and hospitable, right? The, the staff at the hotel to the men who drove around, you know, the, the local <coughs> production agency, restaurants, uh, they were all very warm, very friendly, a very happy lot of people. Uh, and they, they did their best to make stay very, very uh, memorable. All right, and since you stay for really long... Uh, the, in fact, the hotel where we were staying, the Rila Baral Jita Resort, is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's, it's very large, it's very lavish. Uh, it, has, it has three properties uh, connected together. So I found that itself to be an excellent uh, getaway. Uh, I would recommend it to, to anyone who wants to just uh, relax, because there's water sports, there's a beautiful beach. Uh, I did a work on the script with my writer Rajat, we spent a time in the beach, uh, you know, coming up with ideas. We had some lovely evenings together. All of us uh, sampled the local food. There's a beautiful Moroccan restaurant in the hotel where we also shot a scene. So we didn't spend a lot of time outside our own hotel. I went to a couple of restaurants. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name. The one which is on a. Uh, it's, it's a very nice Montaz Mahal. That's stands out. Copper Chimney gave us all our Indian food. So uh, we, did a, we didn't step out much because we were on a very talk put sure. by Anuj. Sure. We had to work <laughs> most of the time. But whatever we did was nice. All right. Thanks a lot, Mila. Akshay, obviously you've traveled across the globe to almost every country in the world. How different uh, was Om? How was your experience staying there? Um, Oman, I have uh, I've enjoyed myself thoroughly. I was there for shooting, but I thought I was on a vacation there. I played so much of sports there, it's unbelievable. The world is just mind-blowing to swim around. I'm just talking it's about it, the good. sports part because that's what I am. And um, on the contrary, um, I'm going to be coming to them for again for another movie next year. Uh, I'll be talking very soon to them. Uh, I love it so much. They say that it's a lot of heat there, but I thought that to lose weight, it's a lot of weather. And I think uh, that's great. And I think that it's very close to the destination. Because you have to get late, but you have to get there quickly. So I think it's nearer than Kolhapur. Yeah. Okay. So I think it's nearer than Kolhapur, so I think uh, people should travel there. That's it. All right. Of course, we've also heard that you celebrated your birthday last year in Oman. So any special memories? Oh, I, yeah, I forgot about the party. <laughs> uh, there was a party, that was a mad party we had. And uh, it was given to the whole uh, unit. And uh, we had so much of fun, so much of fun. I still remember singing there. And, um, it was great, it was great. All right. So, Nakshi, of course, uh, we heard that that was your first time in Oman. So tell us about uh, your experience there. Uh, well, I can't say much more than what's been said. Uh, it's a beautiful place, and uh, I was there for a short time, about four, four days. Uh, but I can tell you in that short span of time that uh, Oman is one of my top holiday destinations. Um, I love the place of staying at the Shangri-La uh, Resort. And uh, there was just so much, when uh, every time, uh, every morning when I went there and asked myself, sir, pack up kitne baje hai? So I could at least go and ca cash in on some water sports or, you know, uh, volleyball on the beach or, you know, something like that. In fact, uh, when I got there, um, the first day I had a photo shoot where we got such beautiful um, pictures because of the scenic locations and the clear, clear blue waters and uh, the, the rock formations. It, it, it's just stunning. It's, it's definitely on my top destination, holiday destination. All right, thanks a lot, Sonakshi. And Akshay, uh, last question to you before we throw the floor open to our media. Uh, we have about your visit uh, to the Sultan Kabu's Grand Mosque. Could you tell us something more about your visit there. Yeah, I went to the mosque there. I, it's one of the most beautiful mosques everybody knows in the world. I think uh, everybody should visit there. And I was very happy to get a lot of All right, thanks a lot, thanks a lot. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for us to throw the floor open for your questions, we've got our representatives with a cordless smile. So we request you all to please, please restrict your questions uh, to only about Oman tourism and the association with movie. And uh, if you could please have...